So this is an allium stent that we just removed from a patient's bladder and it's migrated down into the bladder and we've replaced it with a longer allium stent. I just want to show you how they're constructed and how you remove them. So normally you'd remove them using one of these rat tooth forceps and these literally do have very sharp teeth on the end of them and that's the only way you can really grab this to remove it. If you were to use the normal graspers that would come with a sister scope or biopsy forceps, you'll find that they don't actually have sharp enough teeth and they'll just slide off when you try and grab this. So what we'll do now, we'll just grab one of the struts that would normally be projecting into the bladder and we'll unravel the stent as it would do if you were pulling it out of the ureter. So if you can grab the other end at the same time, probably quite difficult to do. And just put some tension on it and it should just start to unravel. It's almost as though it's perforated in between the loops. You can see it's one long length of nitinol and the plastic comes with it. And that's how it would normally come out through the urethra. Okay, and that's the allium stent all the way done. And that's what you're left with at the end.